Do you want to know what happens at an administrative law trial for the denial of your pension benefits? Join me and I'll provide you that valuable information. Hi, I'm Stan Gaylord, managing partner at Gaylord Pop, disability litigator in the state of New Jersey, representing injured workers in the areas of workers' compensation, social security disability, and disability pension appeals. So what happens at trial when you have been denied your disability pension? Well, in order to get there, what's happened is your case has been heard by the board and it's been denied, so now you're appealing. You've written a letter to the board appealing the decision and they have transferred it to what's called the Office of Administrative Law. There, your matter has now been assigned a judge. There's also an attorney who works for the state of New Jersey, the Division of Pensions, that's been assigned to represent their interests. So what happens next? The first thing that's going to happen is there's going to be a phone conference, at which point it'll get coordinated as to what other information needs to be provided amongst the sides. After that, another phone conference will be set, at which point hearing dates will actually be arranged. Now, we're going to get to trial. So what happens next? Well, usually the first thing that's going to happen is you're going to testify. We need to understand not only how the accident happened, but how you're hurt and why it is that you can't go back to doing your particular job. The second thing is that we're going to have to bring in a medical expert to testify, either your treating doctor or an evaluating physician that has examined you and written a report that supports your position that you are in fact disabled from performing your job. It's very important to remember that the only thing that we have to show is that you're disabled from performing your regular or assigned job duties. We do not need to show that you are totally disabled from performing any job in the national economy. So what and happens is our witness or our expert medical doctor would testify. The next day, the other side is going to bring their doctor. Now that may not be the next calendar day. Sometimes what happens is that there are delays or gaps in time where the other side will bring their expert in to testify. But at the end of a trial, what will then happen is that we will get transcripts from the two days of testimony. At that point, the attorneys will write briefs or submissions to the court as to our particular position and their particular position. At which point the judge will read all of that look through all the material, and render a decision. That decision goes back to the pension board in order for them to make a final decision. They can either uphold the judge's decision or they can reverse the judge's decision based on what they decide to do. If you have found this information valuable, don't hesitate to go to our website, www.gaylordpop.com, or give me a call at 609-771 8611, and I can answer any other question you might have regarding your disability pension denial. Thanks for joining me.